Hello and welcome back to House of Props. I'm Buddy and today I'm going to show you the steps I use to 3D print and finish Thranduil's sword as seen in The Hobbit The Battle of the Five Armies. The link to the original file created by Photos Mint can be found in the below description. However, I did modify the original. Initially, the pieces would create a sword about 39 and a half inches long, but I wanted one to measure the length of the sword from United Cutlery, which is approximately 42 inches long. This means each piece had to be scaled up by approximately 6.4%. Photos Mint requests that no one remix his design, so I am unable to provide the enlarged files, but whatever printing program you're using should be able to make the necessary adjustments very easily. When the piece is finished printing, I sanded the surfaces with a 180 grit sandpaper and made sure to get as smooth a surface as possible. I glued the pieces together with CA glue, taking extreme care to line up the design. To fill the gaps, I used glazing and spot putty from Bondo. This stuff is extremely toxic, so only use this with a mask in a very well-ventilated area and make sure not to get it on your skin. I used a paint knife to generously apply the putty to each seam. Once the putty had cured, I smoothed off the surface with a 180 grit sandpaper and then with a 400 grit. You may need to add more putty and sand again. Remember, we want a smooth surface so it will look like metal and not a 3D print. Once I had everything smooth, I applied 2-in-1 filler and sandable primer. and then sanded this with 180 grit sandpaper. To aid in the final look, I sprayed the recesses in the handle with a flat black enamel. and then the recesses on the blade with a metallic silver. To apply the silver leaf, I used wax paper, silver leaf, metal leaf sizing, and three various brushes. First, I applied a layer of the sizing with one of the brushes. The sizing is opaque when applied and turns clear when ready to receive the leaf. Take a piece of wax paper and firmly press onto the silver. This will help lift the silver so you can place it where the sizing is. Once in place, use one of the other brushes to press the leaf onto the sizing. If you use a finger to smooth the leaf surface, be sure to only do this on the wax paper, not the leaf, because your finger will pick up the leaf. The excess silver along the edges of the sword can be removed by taking a sponge brush and simply rubbing away the excess. I took sterling silver acrylic and mixed in a drop of jet black in order to get a darker silver for the recessed areas of the blade. Finally, I was able to have one of the swords from The Hobbit, which I had been wanting since the film came out. 
If you are enjoying these videos, be sure to give them a thumbs up and subscribe. And remember, if you are building any of my builds or using any of my templates, feel free and tag me at House of Props on Instagram and Twitter because I would really like to see your fantastic work. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.